Hello, welcome to Collector RC. Okay, so I was going to do a new, uh, we have another new servo to try out, a little bit more powerful, um, a gram heavier. Uh, it was one I recently came across on um, Amazon. They were advertising it for uh, the SCX 24s or just the 24 vehicles. For, it's supposed to be great servos. So we did purchase it. It's this servo over here. here. Mm, let's get a little closer. I'll put a link for the description in case you're interested, but let me tell you before you go out and purchase one of these. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, they do not replace. Uh, they will not just fit in with like with the Emax uh, e tray. They are uh, wider and longer because if you look at the head here, yeah. So it is a stronger servo. It's uh, 13 grams instead of the 12 grams of the Emax. Um, it's obviously better than the stock. The it all, all has a torque um, uh, 3.8, which is double what the Emax can do. I think the Emax is set at 2.0. Uh, we actually, I believe, have that box somewhere around here. <laughs> well, it's somewhere around here. Um, but the so that would be the difference of. Um, of those two servos so but uh, but again it doesn't you have to you're gonna have to kind of finagle and chop and do some things to get it to fit in there so if you're interested in this servo and you see it on amazon it will require quite a bit of work and some chopping or 3d printing of, of sorts to get it to work so just know that um we're gonna end up i'm gonna end up using a servo on one of my 110s for we're gonna do some kind of special function for it or something maybe a rotating light you know a spotlight so then we do, this isn't an upgrade video, but we do have a few upgrade things we're going to talk about. You can see I'm also, <laughs> that's my final design when it gets, when I, when I finish it, it's going to end up holding a, uh, a 24 scale, uh, model, um, Harley there. So we got some CR Coda racing, uh, aluminum links. Uh, this kind of comes with all the links you need, the Y link. Uh, one of the cool features about the Y link in here has got a huge area in it where it's, it's like this uh for that issue in the betty and some of the other 24s we've been finding where the drive shaft is rubbing against the y-link um they just it comes stock with a little notch in it but a lot we're finding a lot of the drive shafts aren't even in the notch they're rubbing other places this should get rid of that so this is going to be we're going to be doing a video with uh little bros um, installing that and then da -da -da -da, i've been really excited to waiting to get these so these are the stock um, lizards, the rock lizards that come on the Betty. And so now we have them not on the Betty. So we're going to go ahead. These are actually going to go, um, we're going to do the test runs and put them on uh, Little Bro's Betty as well. He has the trio uh, beadlocks like we have on here. So then that way, non-weighted. Uh, that will be, you know, we'll test it on there, but ultimately these are actually going to go on, sorry, the, my top isn't on, <laughs> but these are ultimately going to go on the SCX24 Jeep Wrangler and they're going to take place. I'm going to get rid of these because these are not, these were not purchased separately. These were actually very carefully <laughs> removed off the stock plastic, uh, rims. And then I was, they actually, they have foam in them. So it was really, really soft foam and i got them to fit on here but they're not perfect and they said don't they kind of they look like they're wobbling they're, like they're misshapen because i had to you know rip them off there so that's what these are going to do and then we also got something kind of cool and unique that we, i have not seen out there before and i check the market every day <laughs> uh but we got some brass and i believe oh, i have to uh, i'll put the link in the description i don't quite remember the brand on the top of my head they don't actually tell you on here um, might be, uh, RC Lions, I think, but these are brass rock boulder bars and they mount in the place of where right now my rock sliders are. So I would remove this and they mount right across here. They are weighted. They're seven grams each. So it'd be a, a 14 grams, um, added to the lowest part of your center, which it would, should, that should improve a little bit. And granted it's 14 grams, so it's not a huge, but it will <laughs> so yeah we these are the parts we have so i just wanted to go over it again if you're looking at this servo on the market and you're curious to put in your 24 you can it just will require it's gonna be way stronger servo I'll tell you that right now um, they are titanium geared 
uh, waterproof, all that good stuff. But you will have to finagle them to fit in because you will you'll hit there, um, and then they stick out quite a bit further because you can't get to rest in the back because your head's so big. So be cautious of buying that; it will not just go in. Uh, these are also on Amazon on the market now. They're pretty cheap. I'll put the link in the description. And then these, unfortunately, are not available right now. I did go through amenhobbies.com. Um, and they're a great source of products, so I recommend going through them. I've never had any issues with them. And it, it, besides, they're out of stock of everything <laughs> for 24 stuff. So, uh, and then, yeah, and then these are also another Amazon find. I, I, I these are not available I, right now. Uh, so apologize. We usually come across these. There's only three or four left, and you got to be quick on these uh, 24 stuff. You got to check almost daily. And so but these are specific for either the Betty or the Deadbolt because um, that's the way their links are set up. So we'll do that with that. So that's really all this is. Sorry, it's just a talking kind of video. We also, I'm going to do, an, there's going to be another bit short video today coming out because I'm going through one of the main things that made us go through YouTube or do this channel is that when I first started working on a particular RC car I had, there was no information, nothing on YouTube about it. And, and the information that was out there was just buy the most expensive thing and put it in here and it's the best. There's nothing else you can do with it. And that's not true with RC. So that's what started us. So that being said, there'll be another video today. It's going to be on the, um, the halo lights I bought for 110. They are, they're amazing. They're beautiful. And for the price, they're great. Um, there were some issues with installing them properly. Um, turns out that I thought it was just missing some or doing some wrong, but we'll go over that in that video later today. And yeah, and I think it's the uh, Global Globe Act brand Halo lights. They were on Amazon for like fifteen ninety nine. So that would be later. That will be later today. So you'll you'll get two videos for the price of one today. Uh, if you want to see that, if not, just check out that video and look how cool they are. Even if you're like them like, into the one tens or not, they're still really cool. Pretty soon, I'll start doing that for the twenty uh, fourth. All right, so that's just a quick rundown of some of the upgrades we're going to do. Um, and our schedule, I'm mean, real quick, and I apologize for all the talking. Our schedule is going to be on Tuesday, we three videos a week on Tuesdays, uh, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Tuesdays will be the, right now, because it's what we're working on, will be the series of doing the Bettys, which we just started. Um, going through the upgrades and keeping the weight, you know, having the weight on the screen, all that kind of good stuff. So that's that series. We're still working on finishing the last few upgrades I'm going to do with this. We can see that we still have a few more things to turn to metal. Uh, we have the um, dual steering we're going to end up doing here soon and that kind of stuff. And then, so that video will be, typically would be like today's video, Thursday video. Um, and then, yeah, so then the Saturday video is pretty much going to be whatever we have left for the week, whatever things we're doing. If it's RC going out 110s, like we post a few of those or some bashing or even more 124 stuff or uh whatever uh little bro finally got uh, his first 110 crawler he's got the uh axial sex 10 2 honcho thing's freaking awesome he's really excited about that and then we have a couple more cars we're looking to get the uh that new rift that's coming out uh should be hopefully sometime around sep or february early for february uh that will be on our channel here soon and I got I have to have one of those, <laughs> but yeah. So that's where we're going. That's the what we're what we're doing now. So all right. Thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, you know, sorry for a lot of talking, but this is more informational and showing some of the upgrades and stuff we're gonna do, and you know, and uh, what we're uh, what you're looking forward to to seeing. So have a great day and get out there and do some RCing.